In C sharp, we can see different types of classes. One such class is static class. Static class is a special type of class that cannot be instantiated. Look at this program class. We call this class as concrete class. Concrete classes are used to create objects and they can contain implementation for all their methods. Static classes are different. When we create static classes, framework imposes certain rules and we should know and understand those rules to use these static classes. We use static keyword to create static classes. Look at this example. Here, string utility is a class. We have used this static keyword to make this class a static class. When it comes to static classes, we should know few key features. They are static classes cannot be instantiated. That means we cannot create object of static classes. And all members must be static. And we cannot inherit or this class cannot be inherited. And also, single instance is maintained per application. And static classes cannot implement interfaces. We use static classes mostly for utility or helper functions. I have created this static class. This is a string utility class. If you notice, we have to use this static keyword. As we have discussed earlier, all the members of the static class must be static. Here, this reverse method is a static method. We have one more method to count the number of words in a sentence. Again, this is static method. And here we have this utility method to check if a string contains only digits. Again, this is a static method. Let's verify one more thing. What if I try to add non-static method to this static class? Let's try this. I'm adding this method. This is a non-static method. See here we have this error. It is not possible to have instance member in a static class. All members of a static class must be static. If you want to call these static methods from this static class, then you don't have to create instance of this string utility class. Instead, what you can do, you can refer to this class and then you can call the method. You don't have to use any instance. See, here is how we can use this static class and these static methods. Here, string utility is a class name and Reverse is a static method. We are not creating instance of this string utility class directly. We are referring to this class name. Then we are calling this method. Here, see, this is a static method and string utility is a static class. Look at this output. This is our original string. And here using utility method, we have reversed this string. And one more utility method to count number of words in a sentence. This sentence has two words. And one more is to check if a string contains only digits. This is how we can use static classes and static methods. And mostly they are used for this kind of utility functions.